नमस्ते माय नेम इज डॉक्टर तरंग बोरा आई एम अ पीडियाट्रिक न्यूरोसर्जन वर्किंग एट अपोलो हॉस्पिटल्स टुडे वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डाउन सिंड्रोम सो व्हाट इज डाउन सिंड्रोम ऑल ऑफ अस हैव 23 पेयर्स ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स इन आवर बॉडी सो व्हाट क्रोमोसोम्स आर इज बेसिकली अ स्मॉल स्मॉल पैकेट्स ऑफ जेनेटिक मटेरियल दैट इज पैक्ड टुगेदर एंड पुट इन द सेल but children with down syndrome have got one extra chromosome as in you me or a normal individual would have 46 chromosomes in total but the person a child born with down syndrome will be having 47 because he has one extra chromosome on chromosome number 21 these children have a certain type of a physical appearance and an intellectual disability which together forms and constitutes and calls them as down syndrome are there different types of down syndrome yes there are three types of down syndrome the first type is the normal variation that is trisomy 21 which is present in 95% of the population the second type is the translocation type which is present in around 3 to 4% of population and the last and the rarest type of down syndrome is the mosaic pattern how common is down syndrome so in india uh, on an average 27000 babies are born per day one in each 800 baby that is born has probability of getting down syndrome so we are looking to around 7 to 70 to 80 babies born per day with down syndrome how, that is how common it is what are the risk factors for having down syndrome we have three important risk factors for having down syndrome the first one is advanced maternal age that is mother getting pregnant after 35 years of age second is if there is somebody in the family who has had down syndrome then the likelihood of your child developing down syndrome goes higher and third is if there is any advanced paternal age so as in the father is also quite old that can also predispose to have uh, down syndrome in your child what causes down syndrome so basically down syndrome is basically caused during the baby's development in the mother's womb where the genetic material when one cell gets divided into two two becomes four and the baby in the fetus gradually grows in the initial part of the pregnancy when the cells are rapidly dividing the genetic material shared between the cells are not dividing properly which causes it to have one extra chromosome on each of the cells of the child's body this process is called as non disjunction in which the child will have one extra chromosome most likely to be on the 21st chromosome and this is how genetically it predisposes uh, a child to have down syndrome what are the signs and symptoms of down syndrome basically there are no symptoms of down syndrome because it is not a disease but once a child is born uh, we can notice a certain physical appearance of the child based on which a doctor is able to suggest that maybe the child has down syndrome is there a way to know whether the expected baby will have down syndrome yes on your prenatal testing as in when you go for your routine checkups with your gynecologist your gynecologist will suggest a uh, two test which can help us in determine whether your child is likely to have down syndrome the first one is a screening test in which blood sample is taken around 15 weeks of age we do a, a this a double test or a quadruple test in which the blood sample can give us a probability whether your child is having high risk or a low risk of developing down syndrome what if is if it is found out that the unborn baby has down syndrome yes so based on those screening test or the definitive test that we have made during the pregnancy most likely if it is before 22nd week of pregnancy the parents can make an informed choice after discussion with their relatives about whether they want to continue with the pregnancy how is down syndrome treated basically i will again reiterate the same fact that down syndrome is not a disease but it is just the way that the baby is born 
The best way to inculcate such babies into society is to have by some sort of physiotherapy and occupational therapy to help them become more normal and to inculcate into the values of the society. What other medical conditions are associated with Down syndrome? Uh, there are a plethora of conditions which are associated with a child who is born with Down syndrome. The most likely uh, association is between heart disease and, and Down syndrome. Most of these children will have a defect or a hole in the heart that is a ventricular septal defect or an atrial septal defect or a tetralogy of fallot which basically implies that the heart is not properly formed. The second likely association is that of an obstruction in the intestine as in the gastroesophageal atresia in which the child may not be able to pass tools because of the narrow opening that is there inside the intestines. Third likely association will be that of the joints between the skull and the spine which are extremely mobile. So that is a possibility because of which the child may have weakness in both hands and in, in the legs. Is there a cure for Down syndrome or can it go away in time? So this is an interesting question. It's like asking is there a cure for being a boy or is there a cure for being a girl? A boy and a girl will have a different genetic makeup. Similarly, a child with Down syndrome is going to have a different genetic makeup. You cannot change it. It's something that you are born with. So there is no cure for it because it is not a disease. It's just a way a person is born. So, it is not going to go away with time. Can Down syndrome be prevented? No, Down syndrome cannot be prevented. As of now, we do not understand which group of individuals get Down syndrome. What are the risk factors during the pregnancy which implicates and causes a child to have Down syndrome? What is the outlook for people with Down syndrome? People with Down syndrome generally tend to have a lifestyle which is slightly different from the normal individuals. But they do grow up, they do have an independent lifestyle, they can work and they can socialize and become equal enough to us and have a normal life. How long do people with Down syndrome live? The average life expectancy of a child or a person affected with Down syndrome was around 25 to 30 years of age. Are people who are having Down syndrome at greater risk of having Alzheimer's disease? Yes, people with Down syndrome, it has been observed that they develop Alzheimer's disease by around 30 to 40 years of age. This is because a particular type of protein which is deposited in the brain with, with patients of Alzheimer's disease is manufactured more in, in patients with Down syndrome. So today we have discussed in detail at length about Down syndrome, how it can be diagnosed, what causes Down syndrome and that it is not a particular type of disease but it is just a way that the child has been born with. Stay safe, stay informed and stay healthy. If your child or anybody you know is a patient of Down syndrome, please consult your pediatrician to get more information about him. Thank you.